Greetings from Delhi Medical Association and Emedi News. Welcome to our show, Chat with Dr. KK. We have with us Dr. Somit Rawat, who is a senior consultant surgeon and head of the unit, Department of Surgical Gastroenterology and Liver Transplant at Delhi-based Gangaram Hospital. He is also a member and Court of Examiner, Royal College of Surgeons of England. All his life he has been in UK and now he has come back to India to serve our motherland. Welcome to our show. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Thank you. You are an expert in GI surgery and when I go to GI surgery, more specifically to cancer, yeah. cancer GI surgery yeah. and when I go to cancer, uh, more towards a laparoscopic cancer surgery. Absolutely, sir. That, Absolutely. Means, that means when we talk about a laparoscopic surgery, we talk about Mm, uh, usually cancer surgery we go to gynae and very few people will attempt a laparoscopic surgery in oncology practice and Absolutely. in GI Absolutely. practice. Absolutely. So we talk about small intestinal disease, we talk about large intestinal cancer. Absolutely. What is the scope? In the year 2013, which other patient should be referred to you? Uh, I think all the patients uh, should be referred to me because we, are, we have started doing laparoscopic uh, bowel surgery, especially in cancer in Gangaram Hospital. We have just done about one month ago after I've joined, I've joined Gangaram just two months ago. We have done the first robotic and laparoscopic esophagectomy in Gangaram hospital, which is the first time it is being done in North India. We have since then done a three laparoscopic esophagectomy, including the robotic part. We have what about, what about uh, a small intestinal GI surgery and a large intestinal GI surgery? Yeah, absolutely. We have also done a laparoscopic total gastrectomy. We have also done laparoscopic right hemicolectomy, laparoscopic abdominoperineal resection. Okay. Uh, recently, uh, we had that uh, so-called gang rape victim which created news all over. And uh, there was a news that the, there was a rod put into the vagina and the vagina was ruptured and the intestine came out, the small intestine came out out of the vagina yeah. and uh, which was later on total small intestine was removed right. for the benefit of my readers yeah. when you remove small intestine what do you mean by that uh, is it the whole intestine or a small portion is kept obviously i don't know about the case no, as in per general, se. i'm not talking in, about this case in general if the whole of the small intestine comes out then patient needs to have a nutrition somehow so during the intervening period, they have a nutrition through the central line, which is called as a parenteral no, in, in a normal case, like yeah. a, a mesentric thrombosis yeah. or a mesentric yeah. arterial embolism yeah. or a venous thrombosis, yeah. do you cut the whole intestine? Or you? Uh, usually what happens that, you know, if there is a thrombosis involving one segment of the vessel, we cut that part of the bowel and leave the rest of the bowel intact. That means if a small, a small intestinal portion is left alone, yeah. a person can live uh, maybe with a small frequent meals, yeah. but should be able to get absorption. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so what I'm saying is, you know, you do require a small bowel transplantation if the whole of the small bowel is taken out. Okay, but when you have raised the point of a small bowel transplantation, it requires a cadaveric uh, small intestine. Yeah, absolutely. But not obviously it cannot be a living donor or somebody else can give a half of his uh, small intestine. Uh, I think there is a lot of progress and research going on in England and in America. I think the way will go forward then a, the, you know, that a part of a living donor can also be taken up. Maybe but you can take out around 10 inches or this uh, six, meters, 6 meters small intestine, you can take a meter and plant. Uh, absolutely, you, know, you require a certain uh, amount of small bowel to have a normal life. So that you know, is similar to the liver transplant which we are doing now, that you know, we take out part of the liver, say nearly about half of the liver and then we implant in the donor. So the similar thing needs to be worked out in small bowel as well. But at the moment in India, it is the cadaveric small bowel. Okay. Anything new in the field of uh, robotic uh, GI surgery? Uh, in robotic GI surgery, you know, as I have said that you know, we have started doing the robotic and laparoscopic esophagectomy in Gangaram and you will be hearing lots and lots of laparoscopic GI cancer work to be done in Gangaram. Gangaram is a premier institution. I am still a honorary consultant at Christie's Hospital, which is the largest cancer center in Europe. And I would like to, you know, pursue all the advanced training which I had in UK, where so I was that working for. Go away from the cancer. Cancer is a uh, it is a bad word to talk about sure. every time. Sure. If you would not have been a doctor, what you would have become? I would have been an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur and would have done what? Uh, entrepreneur means, you know, uh, you know. I, I do have a quality of a leadership. leadership. So you obviously, you know, yeah, I, I would have been an entrepreneur with leadership. There's a current gang rape. If you were the uh, 
the president of india or the prime minister of india uh, what else you would have done i think uh, the problem happens that you know the all the uh, charges which are against uh, the person who is a culprit the problem is the time taken you know i would have reduced the time taken to do the justice i think all these things are happening because law and order situation is shaking in india do you feel that every pcr van the police van when yeah. it reaches yeah. either they must be trained in first aid or absolutely. they should have a paramedic with them so that first aid can be provided absolutely absolutely and i also emphasize that you know the first time surgery is the most important thing the girl when she had a surgery first time it should be sorted out then and there then and there so what dr samitra rawat says is very clear that robotic gi cancer surgery is now available in the country and uh, it is now possible to do them in most of the cancer gi surgery cases uh, thanks thank you very much thank you very much for inviting me and uh, that's all for today we'll come back with one more show till that goodbye thank you